Welcome back. This is Zach, the man behind the wheel. I'm Natalie, the girl in front of the camera. And this is Tallo, our mischievous little man. Oh, and there's another little bus baby in there. We live full time in our tiny home on wheels, a self-converted school bus by yours truly. Okay, maybe Zach did most of the conversion. I had the very important job of taking care of this little rascal. Our aim here is to inspire you to live out your truest dreams, no matter what that may be. So come with us as we explore some of the most beautiful spots in Australia. George, I'm visiting Digga World. Welcome to Digga World, says Mr. Potato. Mm -hmm. Hooray, yells Pepper and George. Hi. Hi. Oh, I'm afraid children can't drive figures. <laughs> but we've been to Digga World, says Pepper. We've got badges. There's one. Okay. Oh, your boot time. This is like as far as my morning goes. I get up, maybe get changed, maybe brush my teeth, <laughs> make the bed, and then I get back into bed. <laughs> so if you've watched our videos before, then you would know that um, Tal and Zach have their little routine. They've always made their porridge together in the morning, or Tallo's porridge in the morning. And I just kind of chill out. Oh, that's at least how it's been since I've been pregnant, so. Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. As you can see today we are sharing with you guys our morning routine for 2020. This is actually a funny one because we don't really have much of a morning routine really as of late. Like I guess we have the things that we always do in the morning but if you watched our morning routine from like this time last year pretty much. We did yeah. one basically a year ago. Um, it probably looks a little bit different. So, but then probably very similar as well. But we thought that we would show you guys what it looks like living in our bus, what our bus, what our morning routine looks like living in our bus with a crazy little toddler. And whilst I am, how pregnant? 35 weeks pregnant. I've been sleeping deeply, but then I'll wake up at around three and I won't be able to sleep for like one to two hours. I don't know, it's just pregnancy. I have like pregnancy symptoms, I guess like sore hips and stuff like that. So yeah, the boys always do their thing in the morning for the first kind of hour, however long. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, you want to do it? Yes. Yes. No, this yes. one's yummy because we're going to put blueberries in it. Yeah. What's on the menu, Tal? Num num. Um. <laughs> that comes to Nana's house. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And he picks up all the rubbish bins, mm. doesn't he? Mm. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh. It just started raining. I had to close all the windows that I just opened. But it's so nice. We love being in the bus when it's raining. But I might just have some tea and then we might make some hot chockies. Um, also, it has been raining the past few days here, um, which is amazing because obviously we need rain in Australia. But 
not so amazing for um, our batteries. Our batteries. Solar. So our solar, so we're on pretty low. Yeah, we're pretty low on our solar. Very low. Very low. Is that stressing out about it? <laughs> so yeah. we can't, which means that we can't make smoothies because we need the solar to run the blender. So we're probably going to go and get acai bowls for breakfast. It's a tough life, but that's the decision that we made yesterday if it was raining again this morning we had no sun to charge our solar so we're probably gonna go get a bowls pretty soon but yeah let's make some tea but I'm about to um, heat up some tea I say heat up because I I'm gonna show you guys the tea that I make it's in this jar and I've got all the ingredients I can make up more when this is empty um, stored and basically it's just a blend of oh whoops a blend of nettles, red raspberry leaf, um, ginger, lemongrass, and I think there's even rose hip petals in there. So I make a big batch in this litre jar and I let it soak for like 12 hours and then I put it in the fridge because it's so hot in Australia and I drink it cold or in the mornings I'll fill up half a mug with like this and half a, mu half a mug with hot water which I'm about to get on and then I have that for my morning tea. But before I do that, I am actually going to take my, what do you call it? Prenatal. I am taking the prenatal, Ooh. I am taking this prenatal right now. It's called Ritual. When you open up this jar, it smells like lemon essential oil, which is honestly one of my favorite smells. So it doesn't smell yucky. It doesn't have any type of fish oil smells or anything like that, which when I was pregnant with tallow, I took this horrible prenatal vitamin that I couldn't even swallow. It was so big. This is easy to go down and yeah, I just love taking them. This ritual prenatal helps women get all the essential nutrients that they need into their diet. One of the reasons that I really love ritual is the fact that it contains folate, not folic acid. So I don't know if you guys know much about folate and folic acid, but folate is the good thing, the good um, substance that you want, whereas folic acid is a synthetic man-made um, produced vitamin. I'm super, super happy that this has folate in it, which is the natural component that you want to be taking when you are pregnant. I also really like that this contains an omega-3, a DHA, which comes from algae. I have a separate DHA that also comes from algae that I take, and so when I saw that this had it all in one, it was definitely a reason why I wanted to invest in my health with Ritual. Ritual is so affordable. It's only a dollar a day to be able to keep up with your health, and they have a process where you get it sent straight to your house in the mail monthly. Vegan certified, sugar-free, GMO-free, gluten-free, and allergy free. Right now, Ritual is offering a 10% discount to all of my viewers for their first three months. You can go to my link, www.ritual forward slash Natalie Nudie, or you can click the link in the description box below and use the code Natalie Nudie. I'll leave that link down there for you so you can go there after you finish watching this video. Can you show everyone your new boots? Yay! What happened? Did you get wet? Come on then, over here. It's okay, that's what boots do, but we'll come clean you. Yeah, these ones are, these ones are for jumping in muddy puddles. A little sensitive soul. Yeah? It's oily. I wonder what's oily in it. The milk, something in the milk? Oh, it's the coconut milk. Dada! Mmm, that's tallow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Papa? Yes, what? We've decided that we're just going to head straight to get acai bowls now because we're hungry and we don't want to eat any of the food that we have in the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so also, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah we're gonna put the music on. We came pretty unprepared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're almost out of go. we're almost out of water. So all our dishes that we've used this morning are in the sink. So we need to go fill up after we have breakfast. And yeah, Zach's just pulling that down. Getting ready to drive. I think that's everything. So yeah, I feel like usually um, in the past when we've done, like we've had much more of a routine. Now we're just kind of like, mama. yes, darling, I'm going. Yeah, we're getting okay. it on. Um, we're just kind of like living now, and no, <laughs> of course we're just kind of living. We're just like finding flow again, and yeah, we don't really have much of a routine. Like, yeah, it's very general. Yeah, it's all just like a little bit over the plate, all over the shop. And we also filmed on a day that we need to fill up with water and that we don't have any solar, so we need to go eat breakfast out. But yeah, this is real life. So we're gonna go get side bowls now. We're gonna start driving. Okay, we're gonna put some tallow music on. All right, we've arrived. Oh, this is not showing my, my face. We're bringing our own peanut butter because I don't trust the peanut butter that other people use. At, As in, like, you just like. Like, like no, no one, one uses, uses this like peanut, a really butter. Good peanut butter. They use like the cheap peanut butters, and they taste like rancid. And like, you need a, you need peanut butter on a bowl. So I'm like, just gonna say no peanut butter. And yes, we are those customers. <laughs> <laughs> the customers that Zach always hated and used to complain to me about. People used to bring but, people used to bring their own milk to the cafe. But my mum used to do that. My mum used to do that when she first became realised she was dairy intolerant and like years ago when no one had those types of milks available in cafes. Anyway, look. I'm not gonna tell them I have the peanut butter. I'm just gonna order it and then Okay, which okay. shoes? Um shoes. Those Your boots? Yeah. Okay. Right, so this is where we're getting our sai. Not, not there, but that's this is the town, the beach. guys so I'm going to leave you here that was basically our morning routine for 2020 so far living in a bus pregnant and with our toddler um, as I said we usually like if you've watched our morning routine from last year or even our nighttime routines and stuff I feel like um, we're not in as much of a flow as we would like to be or as what we've usually been in but life has just been crazy and we've been in all different kinds of living situations and different things going on and pregnancy and toddlerhood and oh my goodness where is it oh I can't see it it's over here Tao up there wow yeah wow more we might see another one in a minute okay it's time to go for a bike ride yes. yeah mm. I feel like we've still got a pretty good routine going like we always manage to go for a swim in the mornings and we just go to beautiful places we eat nourishing food and nourishing warm drinks and okay, stuff like okay. that we and we make sure that we get enough adventure in the morning time for Tao to be satisfied which is probably the most important thing the boys are gonna actually go for a bike ride now and I'm gonna chill in the bus it's about 10 a.m. Um, maybe almost 10 30 so yeah we woke up at what time uh, 6 30 we woke up at 6 30 yeah 
so it's been a good morning i hope you enjoyed watching this video be sure to give us a big thumbs up if you did because obviously it helps us see that you guys liked the video and it helps to support our channel if you haven't already already subscribed then please don't forget to do that so you can continue to follow along with our adventures we've got some big things coming up this week this week these next few weeks that's probably the main one we've still got a few weeks to go but we're getting there we're getting there okay you guys we're sending you so much love and we'll be seeing you in the next video bye